Um, so that was amusing. It's your classic, like, oh look, here's a charismatic and enigmatic leader. He's probably, he's either like a really good guy or he's in charge of a cult. There's gotta be booze in here. Where is it? Search everything! Interesting. Oh, triple well, there's a TV yes. right there with a DVD player. I don't think anyone will mind if I have a quick look at this. Triple X. Sorry, I'm really into this voice today. Yeah, no, I'm ready for this to get saucy. Unless it's like the bad kind of saucy, then I don't want it to be saucy. Oh, oh God, no! <laughs> Where it's like creepy and you're like, oh, I'm a bad person. Okay, how do I use... Uh-oh, it's the bad kind of saucy. Oh wait, it's the good kind. This isn't a person, okay. Why are you filming yourself robbing someone? I don't know. Okay, so that's clearly a lady's wall. Well, you know, could be a guy's. You never know. So that person has a feminine are wallet they... and a masculine wallet. Huh. So they were taking a wallet off the same well, coat. Well, that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing. But why make a video of it? Yes, I'm glad that he observed that. Glad that he made that observation. Because the two of us, it's like, why, why would you do that? The person in question was holding a feminine wallet and a mask... Oh. A stereotypically feminine wallet and a stereotypically masculine wallet from what I saw. Yeah. Because one of them had a bow design on it and the other one looked like a dad wallet. Like, the type of wallet that, like... Well, it's pretty utilitarian. And it's, like, overused and you're like, Dad, get a new wallet. No, I don't need one. Dad, it's fine. Why do apart. I need a new wallet? I just have to rubber band these two halves together and then it's fine. <laughs> exactly. Or super glue it or duct tape it and you're like, <sighs> Dad. Dad. You get him a new one for Christmas and he doesn't use it. Yep. <laughs> Because he likes the old one. Go figure. So we still have that. So we oh, can be like, dads. Why is it triple X? Why would you put three X's on it? Like, don't use this or look at it. Triple X. Like, obviously, I'm going to touch it. They have yeah. first aid. They said they didn't. Yeah, let's go bother Ryan while we're here. Is he still here? I don't know. Or is he at Paul's house? Try the door on the right. Let yourself go. Oh. What the fuck? Feel Culture. your soul. <laughs> Lifting. Then wait. For the moment to break free. What's going on here? Why would they Please. all take the mask off? Sorry, Ryan, there's a few more questions I have to ask you yet, and uh, time's ticking by. Leave. Okay. <laughs> they would all. Why would they all take their mask Well, because they're mind controlled by a demon. <laughs> of course. They're either, it's very, either very awkwardly directed or they're all mind controlled by a demon. So, you never know. Ooh, what's the new clue? Doll burning ceremony. What else is going on in Atlas? So try the lounge door. Again, yeah. So we gotta talk to everybody about this doll. Yeah. Can't wait to hear what James has and to say. And the Triple X DVD, which is not the Vin Diesel movie. Whoa! Someone broke the lock. That's a lock? Or maybe it fell off someone's keychain and that's the unlocker. You know, the little beep beep. It said lock it on it. Oh. 
Yeah, let's see what that is. Oh, oh control see, lock. It unlocks uh, something. Outside the Atlas Training Center. So it's, it fell off someone's keychain. Yes, yeah, so there's got to be something. Well, let's go talk to everybody and see what to do. Need to be asked about that DVD. There's things that we haven't asked. Like we need to just talk to everyone. Yeah, just go through everything. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen this before? No. I don't think so. Right. So. Wait, why wouldn't we ask them, like, what did you, what does your wallet look what like? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? I think it was something that they did on the course. Simon mentioned it. Oh, they didn't do that when you were there? No. You know? Like, why... Because the... It shows, like... Thank you. Probably be back talking. later. He's not saying anything anymore. It shows at least one distinct wallet, you know, with the stitched... Yeah, but we don't have that as a physical clue, and I think that's just, like, how it is. I know why, but I want to know. Have you seen this before? No. No, sorry. Whoops. What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's, uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire. And that's a good thing? Well, yeah, it helps you getting rid of things you don't need, so you can move on and take control again. So what are the masks for? They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's like self-hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes. It's just to help you get into the right frame of mind, you know? So you hypnotise yourself. How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. So like the scrying mirror? Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. And that's safe? Well, yeah. Hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis? Self-hypnosis, auto-hypnosis, same thing really. I think Simon was a bit too quick to play down the role of auto-hypnosis on the course. I'll have to, uh, ask around about this. That's Wait. all for the moment. Thank oh, you. It was ask... red. Ask about what? We should ask Emma about the auto-hypnosis. Oh, yeah, and she'll be like, what? What? A few more questions, please. Thank you. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Be back later on, if that's okay. Alright, so let's literally talk to everybody. Yep. I bet Rebecca's gonna be like, yes, I know all about it and I'm perfect at it. Unlike anybody auto, else. Oh, auto-hypnosis? Yeah, like... Because I'm pure and my mind is free. Ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. So, yes. <laughs> what do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. What's dyspraxic? Dyspraxic? that word mean? I'm not sure exactly, but I would assume it has... I don't know. Can I ask the next question? Yes, I'm listening. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? 
Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? So, I'm not sure if that's, like, really, like, a nice thing to say, because... Distract- Thank you. Probably be no, back later. No, she was insulting him. No, I'm not saying that she was insulting him. I'm saying, like, it's kind of like when people say, like, oh, he's, like, practically dyslexic, and but they're using it as an insult, so it's not really nice to anybody. You know what I mean? Like, it's insulting to dyslexic people because... That's mean. You're using their their condition as like an insult to somebody else who doesn't really have it Mm -hmm. anyways dyspraxia is a form of developmental coordination disorder and it affects fine or gross motor coordination she used a complicated word to feel like she was superior to somebody else while simultaneously being an asshole yeah rather than just saying like oh he's not good with his hands you know which is like a normal thing to say (laughs) It's like one of those things where like somebody overthinks the the future insults that they will make for somebody in case it comes up so that nobody can understand what they're saying and they can feel extra smug about they, it. Yeah, and they can feel super smug and like better than everybody. It's like you know that insults are supposed to be understood, right? Ooh, unless it's like one of those things when you're trying to talk to someone and get away from them before they realize you insulted them. <laughs> When are you ever around other people, Mari? Just a few more questions, um, if you don't mind. In my fantasies, where I'm using my political intrigue to defeat the enemy. Duh. <laughs> okay. That's the truth. <laughs> Seen this before? No, what is it? Do you recognize it? No. Should I? Okay, whatever. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. He's like, I love how he's like, should it? Like, am I being left out? He's like, yeah, yeah, and they they brainwash people, and he's like, what about doll burning? He's like, that's dumb. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Ever heard of auto-hypnosis, James? Self-hypnosis? Yeah. And what do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. And when you're Uh... watching the water... What happens? You go into a trance. You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. Then you get dragged down to the bottom. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. (laughs) Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. (laughs) Like a journey to a place people talk about that no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? What makes you say that? She bought a mirror. Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. Oh my god. We're all wrong. He's been selling drugs and mirrors to these people and they get high on Salvia right next to the lake and they fall in. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> it's like we have all this other shit and he's like... Actually, people just get high on salvia, get very confused, fall into the water. Yeah. But that doesn't explain the morphine, but whatever. Uh, is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's it for the time being. Thank you. Ask about a few more things, please. Triple X. 
seen this before. The writing looks familiar, but no. What can you tell me about doll burning at Atlas? Not very much. It's one of Ryan's ideas. My son is under the illusion that he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> God, it would suck to have this guy as a dad. <laughs> but he said the truth. <laughs> I know, but he's just like, no, nope, you're stupid. Can you tell me more about the auto-hypnosis techniques used on the course? We don't use hypnosis on the course. Not at all? Not anymore. So, how was it used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was... It was meant to force... <coughs> to help students. Mm. Did you force them? You can't force anybody into being hypnotised. You have to want to be hypnotised. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. So you've never put pressure on students to enter into hypnosis? It would be impossible to do so. Be hypnotizing us right now. Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> this creepiness? God. All right, so let's go. I think we go down. Yeah. Ooh, ooh this will open the garage. See? Or open something up. Hold on. Oh, the remote control lock. Yeah. Yes. Beep, beep. Oh. I should get eye drops next time you come over. Why? Because your eyes get dry. Yeah. Were you about to deny having eye dry eyes? Yes. So, those are Ryan's <laughs> guitars. Kept in a garage. Not really the best place to keep them. I'm not weak. My eyes are weak. They're very hydrated. I'm not weak? My eyes, I have the wettest eyes in the world. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you insult my eyes? My eyes are so wet. Whoa. <laughs> it's... It feels gross, doesn't it? Yeah. So we opened it and we saw the we guitars. Got another... We got a clue. Ryan's guitars. Okay. Great. Let's ask Paul about them. Hey, Paul, what do you think about guitars? And he's going to be like, ugh. He's going to be like, ugh. They plays them at the coffee house. It's gross. It's gonna be like a phase or something. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Does, um, Ryan play the guitar? Ryan? Ryan couldn't get a tune out of a radio. Oh, he's turned down. Everyone in his down. life hates Okay, so he's never tried to go professional. If he did try, it was never gonna happen. His father looks dismayed by this question. He's like, it was never gonna happen. So there has to be something that comes in where Ryan says he's good at something because his wife says he's not very good with his hands and his father says he's not very good at music, which like requires your hands most of the time. Yeah. So, so there's gonna be maybe something about that. Couldn't have become a professional. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I feel like we have to go back and talk to Ryan. Yeah. There are th also things we haven't asked Simon. Ugh, oh, because we got the guitars. Yeah, okay. So. All right, well. Oh, yeah, we haven't asked Rebecca about anything. Right? We asked her about everything, and oh, she we... was like, yeah, my husband's an idiot. A few more questions, please. Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. Sad, really. I just let him play in his room as long as he plays in there. I don't mind. Wow. Do you? Does anybody like him? I don't know. <laughs> Go to the. Okay, yeah, we so already did, did everything. everything. Be back later on if that's okay. We gotta go. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. 
What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band, but I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. Singer as well? <laughs> yeah, I used to sing in a band every night. But uh, sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. What was that called? Blackstone? It was called Blackstone. And uh, this guy from a record company once came to see us, and he said the band was rubbish, but that I was good. So after that, I don't that think they crying, liked me much, and then we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. That was Liam's band. Oh. I have a feeling that that Ryan was the one who lied to her or something like that. You know what I mean? But she was in... So wait, go back to Liam. Liam's death. Didn't know Liam very well, but she was in a band with him. So she's lying. Go back to... Yeah. Used to sing in a pub called Black Blackstone. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That band you sang in, Blackstone. Who else was in the band? Um, just a few people from college, including Liam. Yeah. Why did you say you didn't know him? No, it's it's not that. I just thought you meant that I didn't know about his suicide. Did you? No, I was <clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died? Girl. Yeah, I only knew him through the band. Right. So you're in a she band together. She definitely knows more than she's saying. She was in a band with Liam, but didn't know about his problem? I'm not sure I believe you, Emma. Yeah, so, so band often played at the pub, and then there's gotta be something else, like, does she say anything go up? Anything else about Liam? Or no, just, just one. Only knew, yeah. Go, just, hmm. Gotta do something with Rebecca, maybe. Go talk okay, to Okay, that's again. it for now. Thank you. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? Uh, not a whole lot. I know he brought a guitar to one of the groups once, at the end of one of the stages. That's the only time I've seen him with a guitar. I feel like... Because we know that Ryan and Emma had an affair, right? Yes. Thank you. There Probably be, be back later. There has to be more to it than that. Like, he must have... Hmm. I don't know. No, I think that it has something to do... Because he specifically says that he doesn't believe her about not... No, 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 that's not it. What about... Only oh, went once to Atlas. Because she says she doesn't know Ryan very well, or something like that. Well, no, wait, that's already established. Let's yeah. get out of here. Thank you. Probably be back later. Four things I haven't asked Ryan about. Paul and Ryan about. Okay, so let's go talk to Ryan. Yep, let's go to Atlas. And be like, so... Everything. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, we're being a... That's the least effective thing ever. He took our hat! And we're bald. Oh no, he took our notebook. The DVD! Oh. That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. It was that guy. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Do you see that he was bald? It's the monarch costumes. Is he? He has sideburns. No, just the top. Oh. I'm like, dude, don't be ashamed. Kevin Picard rocked that hard. Oh, the, the like... The side thing? The earmuffs? Yeah, and I remember somebody, it was like... Oh, in the future, wouldn't they have, like, fixed balding? And, and Jean-Luc Picard was like, um, in the future they wouldn't care? Yeah. And it was kind like... Of like how they don't care about money. They didn't just give everybody lots of money. Yeah, and they're you know like, I mean? in the future, wouldn't they have cured baldness? And he was like, no, in the future, people aren't, like, judgmental about it. Yeah. 
And he was like, and then I was like, oh shit. Oh, oh you, you just got slammed by Captain Picard. You just got called out on your clothes. My name is about, about male pattern baldness. <laughs> I thought it was cool how Pet Captain Picard was like, what? I only have hair over my ears. What are you gonna do about no, it? No, it's that, it's the ring. Yeah, he had Just the ring. Just like the... He had the ring and he like, did not care. He was like, whatever. And I was like, yeah. I don't care. No, I, I was like, mad respect because like, three seconds in after he's talking, you're like, yep, you're the most authoritative person I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Gotta talk to him somehow. So where is he? He we might we must have to go somewhere else. Maybe he's in the kitchen or something. Maybe we have to go mess with his car or something. Cause his car was there when it wasn't there before. 